In the 1970s, Robert John Maudsley murdered four men, three of them while in prison. This is the story behind Liverpool's cannibal killer. Robert John Maudsley is known as Britain's most dangerous prisoner. He has been locked in solitary confinement for more than four decades. Maudsley was just 21 when he carried out his first murder in 1974 and went on to kill three more people while he was in prison. Born in Toxteth, Maudsley made a name for himself by killing child molesters in a series of attacks that sent chills down people's spines. He spends 23 hours a day locked alone inside the glass box beneath Wakefield Prison and was considered too dangerous to mix with prisoners and guards. The 68 year old has been locked inside a specially constructed bulletproof glass cage since 1983. Maudsley was the fourth of 12 children. As a child, he suffered years of violent abuse at the hands of his father, egged on by his mother. At the age of 16, he fell down the hole of drug addiction and turned to sex work to earn money. It was here he met his first victim in 1974. After his client, John Farrell, showed him photos of children he'd abused, Maudsley garroted him to death. He was declared unfit to stand trial and sent away to Broadmoor Hospital. This was with the recommendation that he should never be released. Three years later, he and fellow prisoner David Cheeseman barricaded themselves inside a room with tied up child molester David Francis. The pair tortured Francis to death before dangling his body for prison guards to see. Maudsley was charged with manslaughter and moved to maximum security Wakefield Prison in Yorkshire. It was here he found his final two victims. In a murderous rage on July 29th, 1978, Maudsley first strangled and stabbed Selney Darwood, who was locked up for killing his wife. He then crept into the cell of Bill Roberts, who had sexually abused a seven-year-old girl. He stabbed Roberts, hacked his skull with a makeshift dagger, and smashed his head against the wall. Reports at the time of his murders claimed he'd left a spoon in the skull of his second victim, who was missing parts of his brain, although an autopsy report later showed that the story was incorrect. After these final two victims, Maudsley acquired a nickname that stuck, Hannibal the Cannibal. During his trial in 1979, Maudsley claimed he was thinking of his parents during his vigilante violence, wishing he had killed them in 1970. During a brief spell at Parkhurst Prison on the Isle of Wight in the 1990s, Maudsley met with psychiatrist Dr Bob Johnson, who believed he was making progress with reducing Maudsley's latent violence. However, the sessions were suddenly stopped after three years and Maudsley was returned to Wakefield Prison, where he has remained since. <laughs>